What's up, everybody? My name is Caitlin Gooch, also known as the Black Cowgirl. I have a Twitter account and Instagram. Please make sure you follow me. Well, if you do not follow me and you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. I am a lifelong horse girl. I've been riding horses since I was three years old. Uh, before I was even born, my dad had horses, which they have been at the farm that we have now. Um, he built a barn there, he built a racetrack, and we have been doing these trail rides forever, like literally forever. I started doing them when I was maybe like five. Um, it's been like a family affair. The trail rides, just imagine hundreds and sometimes thousands of Black people riding horses and getting together and fellowshipping. I'll make another video and go into detail about that and include some videos from actual trail rides but for now i'm here to talk about this new movie on netflix that came out the harder they fall i had the amazing chance to watch the early screening so i saw it before some most people saw it when it came to netflix and i absolutely have a lot of words to say before i do that it's cold outside and i went to the thrift store looking for a coat because normally women's coats why are they not as warm as men's coats so when I went into this thrift store I went straight to the men's section and I found this women's coat and you'll never guess how much it was before I say how much it was let's just talk about the arm here. This is a medium, and I'm pretty tall. I'm five nine. It, ha it has enough arm length. I'm happy about that. And then, as an equestrian and somebody who stays at like the barn a lot, it has a bunch of pockets. Pocket here. It's a pocket here. Like the day I got this, I went on and on and on about how many pockets it has. It has a pocket on the sleeve. There's pockets here in the normal places. There's another pocket somewhere else, but it has so many pockets. I love this coat. All right, so did you guess how much this coat costs? This coat was on the rack for $27. But the day that I went, they were having like a 25% off. And so I bought this for $19. Shout out to thrift stores. Oh, and it's new. It still has the tag on it. <laughs> Shout out to thrift stores. So I'll be wearing that all throughout the winter so I can stay warm when I'm out here with these, with these lovely and amazing horses. All right, so hopefully I do not say so throughout this entire video. I hate that when I start saying a word and then I say it over and over, I'm like, dang, I said that the entire time. <laughs> now y'all gonna be paying attention to it. I watched The Harder They Fall with my husband and I think that it I think that it was a good movie. I do. Um I, I do think it was a good movie. Part of me wishes that more black cowboys and cowgirls on the East Coast um were involved in some sort of way because like I said, I grew up watching this. Um this is little me. It's me on my dad's farm. And this is a part of my history. It's a part of my culture. It's my entire lifestyle, you know? I was really born into this. So to see that on the big screen, yeah, like it's a great push, you know? But I want you all to find these authentic and real Black equestrians, which is why I'm here. <laughs> I'm Caitlin Gooch and I teach and provide resources about Black equestrian history. And I share a lot about my cowboy culture, which is very unique wherever you go in the, the rest of the world. Um, yeah, I don't know anybody who does what we do. The harder they fall. First off, the soundtrack. The soundtrack, absolutely amazing. Like the entire time, I was just like, wow, like just realizing who was singing. There was Lauryn Hill, CeeLo Green. I'm just like, these people came together to make this soundtrack for this movie about Black Cowboys. That's just dope. 
So I hope to meet some of y'all in the future. Maybe y'all can come out to a trail ride. The characters. I know like if you Google right now, Black Cowboys, The Harder They Fall pops up on everything. And if you Google some of the names that you heard, The Harder They Fall pops up on everything. It's kind of like one of the downsides a little bit because you don't really get to see um, those actual people unless you search really hard. But don't worry, that's what I'm here for. So I'm gonna read off uh, some of the people. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. This is why I wrote things down so I wouldn't forget. Not only did I create this coloring book, which you should go get, theblackcowgirl.com, it's also on Amazon, but I have been collecting every published book that features Black equestrians. I've been doing this for four years and I'm getting closer to having all of them. Surprisingly, there's like less than 60 so far that I have found, like near 60. Um, so yeah, when it comes to this stuff, I have, I got the juice, I got the tea because I got these books. These books are amazing. They are so amazing. So I, I recognize these names and I'm watching the movie and I'm like, oh, they just said Mary Field's name on this movie and it's like wow y'all get to know that this was a real person and you can hear her name on the tv like I wonder if she ever thought that just blows my mind so who are these people not all of them are real people I didn't go through to figure out which ones weren't real I know Trudy Smith is not a real I don't think she I don't think she was a real um a real person I think they just made her character up. But if I'm wrong, I know that y'all would tell me. Um, yeah. <laughs> so there was Rufus Buck, Mary Fields, Nat Love, Trudy Smith, Cherokee Bill, Jim Beckworth, Bass Reeves, um, Bill Pickett, Wiley Esco, and Koofy. I loved all of these characters. Well, I love the actors who played the characters. So let's start with Rufus Buck. Rufus Buck was indeed a real person and he was played by Idris Elba. And he was a real outlaw. Like Rufus Buck was an actual gang member. Um, he was a member of what was known as the, the Buck gang back then. Mary Fields, she's in my coloring book. She was a real person. She was the first black woman to deliver the US mail. And let me tell y'all something about Mary Fields. She was tall. This woman was over six feet tall. And she was tough. Like, people <laughs> respected her a lot. Um, and she was big on charity as well. In the books that I have read, it said, like, she had a pet eagle. Like, how freaking dope is that? A pet eagle that went with her because she wrote, she drove the stagecoach and she, back then, like she wasn't just delivering mail, she was delivering um, medicine because people were sick uh, and kids were sick and stuff. And she was delivering, uh, transferring money and the mail and stuff like that. So carrying all those valuable things, she had to be really tough to protect herself and the goods that she was um, transporting. So she was really tough. At first, they did not want to give her that job to be stagecoach Mary. They didn't want to let her drive the stagecoach. And of course you could imagine because she was black and because she was a woman, but she literally outrode and outperformed every person and they were white. She, like, she was the only, from what I have read, she was the only black person black woman um trying out for this position but she had before all of them and the the sheriff or whoever hired her was like yeah we we gonna go with we gonna go with mary <laughs> as they should so mary feels also known as stagecoach mary um i didn't really like how they portrayed her in the movie like the damsel in distress uh because mary wouldn't have been like that mary would have knocked y'all out <laughs> or off rip that's why I think in the beginning of the movie, which if you watched it, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but in the beginning of the movie, like she, um, she does something. <laughs> and when I saw that, I was just like, mm -hmm, cause that's who Mary feels is like, she gonna knock you out. Anyway, I'm not going to do no spoilers in here for y'all. Bass Reeves. He is also in my coloring book. Y'all what? Just pause this and go ahead to theblackcowgirl.com 
and order my coloring book. Every time I restock, it sells out like immediately. I just restocked and I put two up there. If you're watching this and it says sold out, there's a link below it and it links to the Amazon. Okay, so Bass Reeves, he was the first black US deputy marshal in Mississippi. I don't know who the first black US deputy marshal was, but I know he was the first black one in Mississippi. And this man was well respected as well. Like people were scared of him because he was about that business. You wasn't going to just be out here doing the wrong thing. And he even had to turn in one of his own relatives who was doing crazy stuff. He was like, look now, I'm upholding the law and y'all going to obey the law. And he was doing this on horseback too. Like he was playing no games. He wasn't playing games. Um, I know I read that he had arrested over 3,000 people and that was black, white, Indian, anybody who was breaking the law, y'all was getting caught by Mr. Bass Reeves. Put some respect on his name. Uh, Bill Pickett. So I just thought it was funny that Bill Pickett was included in this movie. Bill Pickett invented um, dodge, uh, bull dodging. Like he's the inventor of that entire sport. So when they put him in the movie as like one of these, um, when these gang members, I was just like, this is so random. <laughs> Y'all could have picked somebody else. But yeah, they chose Bill Pickett. There is a rodeo circuit called the Bill Pickett Rodeo. I have been to it multiple times. Um, maybe in the future, y'all will see me doing some relay racing or barrel racing in it or steer undecorating. Yes, I do all the things. Um, it, look, now I'm saying, um, I, I started with so, now I'm saying, um, let me stop. Yeah, so Bill Pickett. He, if, if nobody has ever heard of Black Cowboys before, Bill Pickett is usually who they have heard of. It might have something to do with the rodeo and people just mention his name all the time. I did not include him in my color, in this coloring book. He'll be in the ones in the future. Um... Who else was in there that's in my coloring book? Oh, well, that's it from this list. Um, yeah. So these Black people existed. And not all of them were gang members. So don't just be thinking like all of them were gang members. They weren't. They, like some of them lived, um, some of them lived honest lives <laughs> and made their living an honest way. I know that Cherokee Bill, oh yeah, Cherokee Bill. Cherokee Bill at a very young age. First of all, this man died. Well, this boy died when he was 20. He was 20 years old when he died. And yes, he was also a part of an actual gang member. Uh, it was in like the 1890s when he was alive. And he had joined a gang called the Bill Cook Gang. And he was robbing banks and robbing folks on trains. So that part is very much real. He was actually doing that. Now, these people all existed in different time periods as well. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just follow me so you can learn more because I'm making videos on Instagram and threads on Twitter, but most importantly, my newsletter. Subscribe to my, what I'm now calling the campfire newsletter. So everybody, y'all gather around this virtual campfire and we're gonna talk about these wonderful Black equestrians. These wonderful Black equestrians. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my newsletter on theblackcowgirl.com. The harder they fall. I watched it before everybody else got to watch it. I feel special. I also saw the private question um question and answer that was with the director and mc like jay-z and it was one other actor that was cool i felt like mr samuel come on put some respect on his name i felt like mr samuel just took his time and was like you know what i'm gonna use these characters i'm gonna use these names because i used to love westerns and that's something that he said he said that he loved westerns and now 
I've seen some comments and people say this doesn't look like the typical Western. Have y'all seen the typical Westerns from back in the day? One, they, they were in black and white. Two, some of them portrayed actual black people, but they were played by white actors. Three, we are in 2021. It's not going to look like the typical Western. Now, I will say that, like I said in the beginning, I do wish that he had included you know, like some more cowboys, but I don't know like his thinking behind that. I don't know if if it was on purpose. I don't know if he's like, well, there has to be, I don't know, some sort of order or something. Like, I don't know. But I do hope anyone moving forward with the Western or anything about black cowboys that y'all actually seek us out. Contact me. I will help you find these people. I keep on doing this. I will help you find these people. Um because it's not all just about one person or that name that keeps popping up. We are an entire culture. Like there is so much history in this. And I have big plans (laughs) to continue to teach people about this, especially kids. So again, my coloring book, my newsletter, my YouTube, my Instagram and Twitter at the Black Cowgirl. I'm dropping it hot. Because I've been living this. This is like my entire life. And I love doing this. I love creating more awareness around these people. These wonderful Black cowboys and cowgirls. And I keep saying equestrian because equestrian is just like an umbrella for us all. No matter if you ride bareback, English, Western, cowboy, cowgirl, you're an equestrian. You ride a horse, you're an equestrian. And that's what I'm teaching children in this book. Like there's literally a page that says you are an equestrian. You rode a horse, you love a horse, equestrian, baby. We're going to put that word in your vocabulary. And some people will be like, I can't pronounce that. Yes, you can. Equestrian. And the definition of equestrian, like I just said, it just means someone who rides or performs on horseback. The harder they fall, the movie is out. I'm going to watch it again. Um, it is pretty gruesome. It also reminded me of uh, Django. It reminded me of that a lot. Shout out to Jamie Foxx. I wonder if they even talked with Jamie Foxx. Because, you know, Jamie Foxx rides horses. And also, Jonathan, um, he rides horses. Like, that's him riding the horses. That's not no stunt double. It's him. He's riding. I, I really I appreciated that. I know one of the stunt riders... Um, was out in California. Oh my gosh, I can't think of his name right now. (sighs) Should have wrote this down in my notes. But one of the stunt riders was out in California. um, And then the other background people, I don't know who they were. But shout out to y'all, because y'all looked amazing. Y'all all all looked amazing. And the wardrobe, oh my goodness. Can I have the clothes, the costumes? Y'all done with them? Can I have them? Let, you know, like I will wear some of them, but let the kids that I work with, they can play dress up and stuff. I, I just think that would be so awesome. I think it would be awesome. Okay, I'm not gonna make this a long video. My coloring book, you need it, you want it. You wanna learn about these amazing people? Get this for your kids. Christmas is coming up. Matt Love. Teach them something. I know in this book, um, <laughs> Bass Reeves, I love this picture so much because he's literally chasing an outlaw, just like he would in the movie. Like, your kids might not be able to watch this movie because I know some of y'all don't let your kids watch stuff with cussing and, and blood like that, but they can, I know I made her tiny in this book, but they can have this coloring book and you can be like, these characters were in the movie. Let's talk about them. Let's color and learn. Get on my Amazon, get on my website. All right. I have stuff to do, horsey stuff, read books, so I can report back with some more information about Valky Equestrians. Again, my name is Caitlin Gooch. I'm a lifelong horse girl. I love what I do. And I'm here to represent for the culture.